Hi, I'm GNT and I'm going to teach you how to skip. Skipping is an important high impact cardiovascular exercise. It will burn calories which in turn burns fat on the body. This is important for your well-being as excess fat leads to high blood pressure, high cholesterol and heart disease. Now I have your attention, let's teach you how to skip. To measure the rule correctly, step down the centre of it with one foot and the handle should come up to your armpits. You can knot it or cut it to make it the correct length for you. The most basic way of skipping is jumping double footed. If you are worried about bad posture or lack of rhythm, you can start by swinging the rope by the side of you. This will help to improve your timing without the inconvenience of clipping your feet and stopping. As you are doing this, work on timing your jump for when the rope is hitting the ground. When you feel confident with that, then actually jump the rope keeping your elbows close to your side. Putting your elbows further out will shorten the rope making it more difficult to jump over. It will also decrease the speed of rotation in the rope. Posture is important whilst you skip, so keep upright and look forwards when you practice. The common mistakes are arcing the back or hunching in while skipping. Focus on looking for the rope until you build up rhythm and timing to jump it consistently. It's important to remember that you don't have to jump really high, just enough for the rope to go underneath your feet. When you are learning, people tend to plant their feet, but when you get the hang of it, try to stay on the balls of your feet throughout for a better workout. Next stage is alternating your feet. This is basically running on the spot. When people first tend to try this, they end up lifting the same knee instead of alternating. This is okay, but you will end up working one side more than the other. The best way is to swing the rope slowly and plant one foot and then change and plant the other. As the rope is coming over, that's when you lift up and change to the other. When you are confident with the slow movement, start to speed it up and spend less time in contact with the floor on each foot. As you get better, speed it up even more with a fast wrist action. You can lift your knees higher to intensify the exercise. My main tip for this part is to be patient and practice. It may take a while to speed up your skipping, but it will definitely be worth it. Next stage to intensify the exercise further is to go back to the double foot method, but try to double the rotation of the rope in a single jump. When attempting this, it's important not to focus too much on a ridiculously high jump as it's more about the quick wrist action. You can tuck your legs up to help at first. A good way to get used to doing this is to do a single for a set amount and afterwards try the double. Here I'm doing four and on the fifth I double. As it gets easier, lower it down more and more until you can double consecutively. These are very good for cardio as it's a quick burst of energy. Now let's learn the crossover. For crossovers, you can do them double footed or alternate your feet. As the rope comes over your head for the first time, cross your arms making sure the rope is wide enough to still go through. And then on the second time it passes over your head, uncross your arms so it goes back under as it normally would. If you struggle, go slower planting your foot like earlier and then speed it up. Remember to continue the motion of the swing as you cross while keeping your legs close together. The most common mistakes with this are bad timing and not keeping a big enough gap to get through, but again with practice you will improve. When you are confident with all methods you can use the variations in your skipping to intensify and reduce difficulty while skipping. This will give you more control in your workout and help you improve your cardio. There are many other variations including bouncing double on each foot, triples, backwards, backwards doubles, backwards triples. So have fun and experiment. This concludes my tutorial on how to skip, so check my channel for other tutorials and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you.